going into the new year, it's very obvious that Nigerians are struggling to cope with the economic situation of our country and cost of living has been on the high side in the land. It didn't start today and it didn't start on its own. The government have their own share of it while the citizens aren't left out. We can only hope it gets better. It's now even disheartening and shocking that despite all the hardship common Nigerians are going through, the federal government has decided to further compound our suffering by removing subsidy. A step like this at this critical time of economic instability is dangerous and malicious. We urge the federal government to find a way around it and ditch the idea of subsidy removal. Gentlemen of the press, insecurity in Nigeria is unambiguous, no part of the land is safe. We can call on government at various levels to stand up to this challenge. There won't be a government if there aren't people. Nigerians are dying in numbers every day. We need to be protected. On various campuses in choir, it is sad that school management are trying all within their capacity to incapacitate student union. This we see as illogical and illegitimacy. Any school that is organizing a student union election in four semester is not only silent, silencing the union but killing it. It's ridiculous how school management will speak against injustice to the higher authority, but the test seeing students speak against any form of impunity, injustice, and disrespect on their own. School management can only restore their commitment to equity and fairness. Only if they can shift union election to second semester. This will give students the opportunity to elect their most trusted colleagues into various offices. It will give the elected student official the atmosphere to function effectively well. Hence, we employ every school in Kwara who holds their student union election in first semester to kindly rethink and do the need for the new part of the aren't on the mission to silence to silence students. Consequently, in the current government in Kwara, the student coalition and the iron world are not well represented. And this is totally due to the fact that there isn't an office created to look into student yearnings or bring support to the students. Since the coming of the administration of Malam Razak Abdurrahman, it is on record that Yazid Gomez appointed a special advisor on student affairs. This, in many ways, affords the yearnings of students. Obviously, there are ministries of education and that of tertiary education. But as far as we are concerned, such ministry deals directly with the school management. They are created to work with school authorities, not us. There is a limit to what we can do together. Yes, we appreciate the tremendous work of both ministries, but we Nigerian students require want more. There is Nigerian students. We want to seize this August moment of New Year to call on the government of Kwara State to kindly give voice to the student community in the state by appointing a special advisor on student matter. This is the only way we will feel represented. After all, the population of youth in the national process is intimidating and overwhelming that no one will look beyond. beyond. As a matter of fact, Kwara State Governor Malam Abrazak, Abraman Abrazak should appoint a special advisor on student matter as soon as possible. We were hopeful that it wouldn't take this long, but we have been so left in the confusion as to when we will be represented. Look around, there are people of immense, immense quality who that can serve as a special advisor on student matter to the government and deliver effortlessly and relentlessly well. Ultimately, once more, we call on Kwara State Government under the wings of Man and Jamal to return the payment of subvention to our tertiary institution in the state. Notable among the institutions need to be subvented at Kwara State University Malite, Kwara State Protecting Online, and College of Air Tech Offer. Created Nigerian students. The three schools mentioned above have over the years been churning out beautiful brains. They have given us a lot of agreeable intellectuals, thanks to the quality of education they offered and still offers. But very recently, these schools are fast becoming a no-go area for children of Arnold. Tuition fees, hostel fees, and other fees are what scare citizens of those schools. The price of those schools are on the very high side, which makes it automatically difficult for the less privileged ones to afford. Articulate Nigerian students, 
It's documented that the United Nations Sustainability Development Goal advocates for quality education and, of course, at affordable price. It's now very uncomfortable for us to stomach how the rate of quality education in our state is increasing, is increasing at breakneck speed. To make education affordable in our state lies with the government. Else, the call for them to subvent those institutions, it's obvious that those schools have been left to themselves for quite some time, and that is the major reason they have not been affordable. We genuinely and sincerely call on quality government to stand up and rescue the less privileged citizens of this state by doing all we need to, which, to solvent those schools, as that will validate their commitment to liberate choir and choirs. Greatest Nigerian student, we wish each and every one of us a prosperous new year, and we pray that the new year shall be a year of ultra information for us. Happy holidays to every Nigerian student out there. Thanks for staying with us.